Okay, let's see how we can compute delta y and dy. First, delta y is the exact difference between the new y value and the original y value. And dy is the approximate difference by using derivative. And this right here is called the differential. Here is our y and x is as 3 and delta x is 0 0.5. And let me give you guys a picture right here first. This right here is just going to be a parabola and it opens up and I say it looks like this. And we care about when x is as 3, so let's say 3 is right here. And let's come back down and we will have to find the y value and that is right here. Well, plugging 3 into this x and that x, we see when x is 3, y will be 3 squared minus 4 times 3. And that will be negative 3, that's 9 minus 12. So this right here is negative 3. Next, delta x means the change in x and positive 0 0.5. So that means we will have to go from 3 to the right 0 0.5 unit and that will give us 3.5. And by the way, this right here is indeed equal to 4 because 4 squared minus 4 times 4 is 0. And when we have 3.5 right here, let's just come back down and then Let's see, we go to the other side here, and we see we have to find that y value. To get the y value, do the same thing. x equals 3.5 now, plug in, so we get y equals 3.5 squared minus 4 times 3.5. And you see this right here is much harder to do compared to that. <laughs> and I did it for you guys, so altogether we will end up with negative 1.75. Still pretty good because this is still exact answer. <laughs> but sometimes we might not be able to get exact y value once we move around. But this one is actually pretty good. Now with this and that, we can compute delta y. And this is just going to be the new y value minus the original y value. So that will be negative 1.75 minus the original, which is negative 3. Okay, work that out. This is 3. Minus that, we get positive 1.25. So, delta y equals 1.25. And for a picture right here, it's this distance. From here, and from here, up here. The change in y. So, that's delta y, and that's 1.25. Done. Okay, how can we compute dy? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we will be using derivative. And derivative is just the slope of the tangent line, right? So here's how it goes. Let's come here, and then let's draw a tangent line first. OK. Now, what we are going to do next is, look at this. This is dx. And earlier, as we mentioned it, we just went from 3 to 3.5, and that's the change in x. That's 0.5. Now. Starting at this point here, we are going to move to the right the same amount, 0 0.5. And this time, we will denote this by dx because we are on the tangent line. So dx is 0 0.5. And you can see dx is the same as delta x. And the reason is because you can just move the same amount of distance, 0 0.5 units. So this right here is the same as dx. And hopefully, when you are doing this kind of questions, the delta x is not like a crazy number, like square root of 2 or 1 over pi. Yeah, 0 0.5 is perfect. From here, what we are going to do is, when we go from here up to the tangent line, this much distance is precisely the dy. And you see, the slope of this tangent line is just dy dx. Aha! So now this is how we are going to compute dy. Here, this is our y, which is x squared minus 4x. All we have to do is differentiate this, and we will get dy, and we will get 2x minus 4, and then right here, we multiply by dx. That's it. And you see, if you would like, you can kind of divide this by dx, and you get a dy dx, which is the derivative. That's the idea. And now we can just draw in every num uh, all the things. dy equals 2 times x, which is 3, and then minus 4, and then times dx, which is 0 
Let's see, this is 6 minus 4, which is 2. 2 times 0 0.5, this right here is equal to 1. So we can come back here and you see dy is actually just equal to 1. This is smaller than delta y because you do see that there is a the gap. So ladies and gentlemen, dy in our situation is equal to 1. So that's the difference between delta y and dy and how you compute it. Okay, another example to compute delta y and also dy. This is our y and here's x and then delta x is 0 0.8. Again, let's have a picture first. To graph square root of x minus 2, it's just a regular square root of x graph, but we move to the right two times. So the picture will look like this. So let's say here is the 2 and then I'm just going to do like this. Hopefully the picture is not so bad. We will see though. Okay, x is 3, that's our point of interest. I will just say the 3 is right here. Because it's a 1, 2, 3, right? of course. Somewhat like this, alright? Anyway, when x is equal to 3, of course plugging, so we know y is equal to square root of 3 minus 2, and that will just be 1. Square root of 1 is 1, so done. So when x is 3, we know this right here is just equal to 1. And that's pretty good. Next, this is the crazy part. We are going to move to the right by 0 0.8 units. So that will be somewhere right here. Then that will be 3.8. And if you look up, it will be about right there. But here's the issue. When x is 3.8, we can plug in. And we will just get y being square root of 3.8 minus 2. What's this? Yeah, square root of 1.8. Um, I think we have some trouble with this, right? Yeah, so this is why I was saying that to get a new y value, it's not always going to be easy. But we do have a calculator nowadays. Just pretend that we can somehow magically compute that. And let me just choose that for you guys. This right here is approximately equal to 1.3416. I have the answer written down over there, right? Just for lecture purpose, yeah. So let's find out the delta y, yeah, with the calculator answer. Because delta y is the exact, okay, here's, here's the thing. Delta y is technically the new y value, which is square root of 1.8, okay, in exact form, minus the original. The original is just one, so that's nice. But again, well, just use a calculator for it. And let me tell you this right here. I just don't feel that that's this is the exact answer. This is the exact answer for delta y. But I will give you guys the approximation so you can see how big this is. This is approximately just pretty much this minus that, which is 0 0.3416. Cool. So you see, from here to here, we actually have to go up by. 0.34 each. So let me just say this is 1.3416. So this right here is our dy, which is 1.34. Sorry, dy is 0 0.3416. Again, the new y value minus the original y value. So that's it. But let's see, because suppose we don't have a calculator, then we will have to do some approximation. And that will be the dy part. How do we do it? Well, let's write down the y right here. y is equal to square root of x minus 2. Let's write down dy. Do the derivative of this. It's just 1 over 2, square root of x minus 2. Do we have to use the chain rule? Yes. But does it matter? No, because the derivative of the inside is just 1. So it doesn't matter. If you forget about it this time, it's, it's okay. But yeah. And then we multiply this by dx. This is how the differential formula works. dy equals the derivative of the function, and then we multiply that by dx. And before we compute it, let's see if dy is going to be bigger than or smaller than delta y. Have a look at the picture right here. Well, again, go to the original point, which is 3, and we are going to draw a tangent line. And the tangent line will look like this right here. 
And this time you see that we have a little gap right here. Again, if you go horizontally, this much, this right here is dx. And we are using d, the d notation. It's because we're talking about the tangent line, so you know, derivative and all that stuff. dx. And we can take dx to be the same as delta x. Delta x is right here. Right? Just take them to be the same value because they are just both equal to 0 0.8. But if you want to compute dy, dy is you go from here all the way to the blue tangent line here. So we actually will be overestimating, right? This dy will be bigger than the delta y value. So this right here is exactly what we're trying to find. That's dy. Okay? So hopefully the picture helps. But we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and compute it. So ladies and gentlemen, dy is equal to 1 over 2 times the square root. x is 3. So we just put that down and then minus 2. And the dx is 0 0.8. Again, you take this and that to be the same. dx is the same as that. Because we both move to the right 0 0.8 units. So this right here is 0 0.8. Okay. This is just 1, so we have 1 half times 0 0.8, so all in all, we just get 0 0.4. So dy is going to be 0 0.4. Yeah, just like that. So now let me ask you, which approximate, well, which one is easier to compute, the delta y or the dy, if you don't have a calculator? If I answer down below, <laughs> let me know.